for y'all. <sighs> so this is the greaser and Dawn. <laughs> and this is Lysol and hot water. Because as I wash it, I use Q-tips, brush, brush, and a rag. And then once I wash it, then I take the um, hot water and the Lysol and the clean rag and wipe afterwards. Because I might as well wash it and disinfect it now. So remember I couldn't figure out what... Hold on. Alright, remember I couldn't figure out what that was for? Well, that causes this to open. Look at this water. Look what color that water is. From just those four inserts. So I'm about to put some fresh water in here. Add some bleach and some other cleaner. Look at that water. <sighs> Y'all, I went to the Dollar Tree and bought me some more rags. I'm not bringing these rags back in my house. I bought some latex gloves so I can dispose of them. And I bought a um, paintbrush and something else. And you'll see why. So let me go get some hot water for these. Look at this. Still got stuff in it. That's okay. Because I'm about to put some cleaner in here. Jesus. All right. Um. So, yeah, I'm not going to. Let me see. <clears throat> I'm going to let you soak overnight. And the last so thing I, I did get, because I was telling you what I got, I got this a magic eraser. I'm going to see what it does. I got it from the Dollar Tree, and I'm going to see um, how it works. And I'm going to try some ultra thick bleach. We'll see what that console looks like. But anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Good night. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye. Hey guys. <laughs> it is definitely Saturday morning. Probably, it's a little after 8. So I did come out to my box and I am still finding the brown drip mark. So wherever I had put liquid um, to rinse it out, the brown drip marks are showing. I almost feel like I want to go ahead. I blah, blah, blah. Good morning. <laughs> My tongue evidently hadn't woken up yet. I almost feel like dipping it in water still. And seeing what comes out of it. Because that, um, the, the cigarette lighter socket thing, I, I don't know the proper term. Let me see if I can. It's the, Whatever. <laughs> that those two things at the very bottom well you can't see it this cigarette lighter thing whatever um yeah I need to uh, I want to dump the whole thing in water to be honest with you because there's brown dirt in, in, in inside I can't get to but I can see it so I kind of want to just dip it in some water that socket like is pretty secure like dip that whole thing in some water and like shake it around for about a minute and then take it out and then dip it in some clean water with no chemicals. Shake it around and then let it sit out in the sun and let it get its clean. I'm going to think about it. We're going to see. So, y'all see that crap on the floor, right? I did bring a trash can out here. I use one of my flower pots. So, let's get to <laughs> digging. <laughs> Let me get some trash. Let me get something to put the trash in. I didn't think about it until I was looking at it with you guys. Let's see. I'm going to use this flower part and I'll, um, and I'll thing. This is the thing to get to the tire. I thought it was under this, but it wasn't. <laughs> and I also just noticed there's bolts in here so I can remove this whole thing and I'm trying to want it from here the cigarettes look at the black and mild packets I don't know if you guys can see this or not that's an old candy I don't know how much you guys can see let me try to bring it out for a little bit look at that look at the a different color um is it different colors that blonde i don't know it looked like a different color in the light look at this all down by the seat belt in the seat belt thing where the seat belt is look at the trash inside here I told you there were smokers Ooh, does this come off I think the seat color might come on but that's a good thing 
this trash directly under the seat also. Uh, look at the cigarette butts. I'm surprised I didn't find more than that. The way this fire has its smell. Uh, is, there any more stuff in here? is there anything in here? Uh, um, I'm gonna take that up. I'm gonna actually do it now. So let me go find what y'all should see how the food is kicked up like oh this carpet this carpet has to come up i can't there's no way i gotta get this carpet up like the, the dirt and stuff is just kicked up and it was bad about these things right here these are known for breaking on this van like everyone i've seen they were even broken on the driver's side on both sides so i'm gonna get something and we're gonna take this off i don't know what you call them a socket or whatever so let me go see what i can find out right back all right guys i didn't want to waste your time with me going to get my set trying to find the right size and all this other stuff so i went ahead and just put it in there well no sorry <laughs> And just hold on. I'm trying to. All right, there we go. I hate using these things because I'll be all over the place. And I get it loose enough. And once I get it loose enough, I take this piece off and I just turn it off. I just do this. That's just something I do. I hadn't seen anybody do it to let you know that I, I taught that from. I, I learned that from somebody. I just I'm a very impatient person at times. And um, so yeah, I take shortcuts. So it has to be loosened enough for me to do this because for me to keep doing this, doing this, doing this, no. Oh, Jesus. I was scared something was going to pop up on me. All right. Whew. All right, so that's all metal. Now, I still see some things where I can just take this whole thing off. But there's a power thing to this. So I'm not going to take this whole thing off, but I do want to clean this and the screws to go with it. That's the thing to, oh, okay. That's to get the tire down. I'll get to that one day. Okay. So let me go ahead and put this in some water. Uh, I'll be back. All right, so. I'm going to have to come back out here later on this afternoon. Oof. Oh my gosh, yeah. I, I need y'all to see how I gotta I gotta get this off. Those two round things, I'm sure I can lift those up with a flathead screwdriver. I need to remove this because there's dirt. Oh gosh, I can't sweep this out. I'm gonna have to take it to the whatchamacallit. Oh. Oh, shucks, yeah. I'm not about to do that. And it's not cool. It's, yeah, I need some suction, not a broom. I need a gun, a knife, fire, Jesus Christ, to get all this crap out of here. Okay, um, what do I want to do next? So the seats in the back, I still don't know what I want to do with those. Um, hold on for me. I don't know if y'all can see this kicked in there or not. Like, dirt is just in there. Turn y'all around. All right, so I'm kind of like at a standstill, and I should just stop. So the seat directly behind, I'm sitting directly behind um, the driver's side seat. I probably need to clean it back a few seats today. Um, so I'm sitting directly behind the driver's side seat. And the seat directly behind it is the one that I can't get none of them to go on the floor. I can get them both to fold. This one right here, I have to go under and play with the actual metal mechanism that make that actually bends. So it's like, it's it's like how do I explain it? When it's sitting up, it's like this, 
but then if I pull, it buckles and it causes it to fold. Um, but I cannot get it to get in, go inside of the floor at all. So, um, um, so yeah, I'm spraying the back of the seat, so I feel it good. So yeah, I don't, um, I don't really know what I'm doing. I want to take them out and throw them away, but I'm like, you know what? If I ever decide to sell it, they're going to want the seats. Well, I'm not going to reattach the seats. That's what I'm not going to do. I'm not reattaching the seats. So they're going to have to just take it put the seats already inside the van with the nuts, the nuts and bolts and, you know, like that. Um, I'm not going to sell a van for more than what I paid for it. Um... So, yeah, I definitely would not do that. And I'll have a list and receipt of everything that I um, put into the van. Um, so, yeah. Ugh. What was I about to say? Uh, so, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do today. I still see these. Okay, so I see some dirty wet marks. I do see some dirty wet marks. So, yeah, I can go ahead and... Um, and what I mean dirty wet marks is like where it's gotten wet. Let me see if I can get y'all to see. And it's brown. I don't know if you can see that. And the camera I think is showing. Where you can see like the, the brown markings. Let me put it right here. This is brown. So, um, hold on, hold on, hold on. Ah, I got you. I can't get you down. I think that's out. <laughs> So I'm gonna go and play with the ceiling today. Um, yeah, even the handles see the brown marks coming off of it. So I'm just gonna keep spraying it with this stuff, this older van, because it brings out the dirt. So yeah, I can see brown marks, but I've cleaned it and it's just dripping. So um, are y'all dirty also? Yeah. Yep. There go the brown marks. So I'm gonna go ahead and um make me a bucket of something and clean the ceiling again today and then i'll show y'all the results of that i know y'all don't want to see me re-clean the ceiling and um the reason why i got it sitting out here because like i said i saw some more brown marks and then whenever you pull out one of the trays the black thing the rail or whatever that is it it slides on i did clean that off but then i noticed um Another side, I guess, as I pulled it, it was bringing some stuff out. So I had to rewipe that area. Um, right now, I'm bleaching because, like I said, it had like a little dirty looking march on it. Not dirty little march. Marks. Like, it just looked like it has, it's been dirty for so long to look like it's stained. So I went ahead and wiped out the inside, wiped up those areas. And then I'm going to wipe out the outside again and go back across those areas. I'm going to lay it on its side and see, try to get as much as I can off of it and knock at the ceiling. And that's it. I'm going to stop here. So, um, there's nothing, nothing else really else to see, to be honest with you. Um, I'm not ready to move into the cabin yet. Is that considered the cabin? I don't know. But I will. And my next thing will be just putting something on these seats. Um, some old sheets or whatever. And then I'll probably start with cleaning the doors first. I gotta clean up hair, y'all. This the freaking look. You see the dirt on them doggone um, visors, the, the visor. You see the dirt on the visors. I don't know if y'all can see it. I'm tip, I'm tipping the phone so you can see it. Up there's gonna be a beast. I probably when I move up there, start on the doors and then start up and work my way down. So yeah. All right. So let me go ahead and attack the ceiling today finish that up and then i'll show y'all the final results all right guys oh. i think i'm gonna put this on it today i'm gonna spray it with this today yeah i don't know if i should just do the whole thing or where the brown marks are i'll do the whole thing i'll put my back into it i got a little bit of water with bleach in it i don't want to oh i did tell you i want to show y'all so the material is like this I don't know if you, so it's like a, I don't know how to explain it, if that sounds help with anything, I don't know if it does or not, but anyway, so yeah, that's it, so I'll come back on with the reveal of that, probably later on today, and I said I'm not doing anything else in the van, if I do, I'll record it, but 
Well, I'll take a break for a few, whatever, and I'll be back on shortly. All right, guys, work I go. Um, I did take the rag. I had a bucket of water. I'm not sure if I had a cleaner in that water. And I took a rag and I used the carpet cleaner and I saturated it and I just wiped it. The rag, I I can work with the bag, the, the bag, the rag better than that brush. Um, but I'm gonna still keep that little thing for whatever I decide to clean. Like you know, my dashboard. If I can't get down into it, I can use it to clean it. The little um, triangle thing. I don't know what you call it, but you know what I'm talking about. So I did reclean the ceilings. Got into areas I really could because I could use my hand. I'm gonna keep watching for the brown marks and just keep going. The rag didn't look dirty. Um, the ceiling has some little spots, but they look like scuff marks. Scuff marks. I'm trying to keep this video under 30 minutes and I'm not doing very well. So I just want to let you know um, I, I have more spoiler. I have more story time. So when I get to cleaning and I don't have to talk with you guys, I'll do the story time and I'll speed up the video so they won't be so long. Um, I have to clean that console again. Just a little bit, and then I, um, I laid it on the side, both sides, the front, the back, turned it upside down. Still looking for other areas just to clean on, so I did find some more stuff. Still rewiping. I didn't put the whole thing in water. Um, the dirt that I did see that was been in there so long, I wiped it with a bleach cleaner, and it's no longer brown skin. It's it's, it's almost it's, it's light skin. It's, it's white skin just about which is fine. I just want to get that thing clean and disinfected. There's parts that I would never touch that I can't get to that I saw stuff on, but I still wiped it just because it's a mental thing. But I will definitely show you later. The inserts came out really good. Some of them are like faded and like stained or whatever. Um, and I, I took it out there. I had it in cleaner last night and I took it out and put it in bleach water. It didn't bleach or anything. Um, I did it to just to disinfect it some Clorox bleach and um, I got it drying right now so everything is drying at the house later on when it gets cool then I'll show y'all the results and I'll check the ceiling and that'll be it um, I'll go ahead and end it I have to I'm gonna wait a few days and maybe a week before I get some energy to go to that front part and figure out what's what and go from there so um all right I just want to make sure I'm doing this under three minutes which is great all right guys so I'll see you later on interior of the inside there were some so I don't know if that's the glue or what, but I did bleach it and try to clean it the best as I could. I had it soaked. It's been soaked for about, what, two days? A day? I can't remember. And then this is the other one. So I'm going to um, brush them again so they've dried. Because um, I did soak them in bleach. That was the last thing I did. And these are the inserts. Y'all remember them? So they... um tad bit faded from spots. I don't know if you can see it. See the inside? And I tried scrubbing it and I can't get that off. Hold on. I don't know. I've tried scrubbing. I sat here and scrubbed this last night. Yeah, I don't know what that is. And this is, I'm using something like this. And it's still not coming off, whatever it is. Um, yeah I don't know this one is fine but this one is a lot more soiled and stained or whatever the case may be why is this be around here suck it if you bite me all right anyway um so let me show you the big piece I'm gonna put y'all on pause <coughs> and bring it in and try to clean that again I don't know if you can see it and it's not coming off. Like I scrubbed with different cleaners, it's not coming off. So we good. Um, I went ahead and brushed it. These, I might try another material. I don't know. I mean, I can go to like Hobby Lobby and find another type of material. I might just use this and I'll trace it and cut it out and put it in. Or I don't know, we'll see. But I'm not gonna glue it back in. I wanna be able to take it out and get to where I can clean it. So. Um, I'm going to be putting these right back in and go from there. Alright, so make sure you guys can see. So they're in. They're in. I couldn't get it in because it's broken. So 
that's it that's all i got <laughs> it's clean it's better than what it looked like before i keep wiping it because after it dries it shows old stains and that's irritating me i don't know if there's something i can put on it but i'm about to go through all that so she clean she ready to go in the video here thank you so much for watching and we'll go on to the next round which is the inside <laughs> all right guys later okay so this is the issue that i'm having so let me put it on that <clears throat> So this is the front, so it did get clean, but there is a smudge right here. I don't know if you guys can see it. Can you see? Okay. And then there's a little smudge right here, and then there's something right here. Those are just scratches I just, I can't get off, okay? Um, let's see how, all right, so I did all that. This is the top. Y'all remember what the top looked like before? Let me scoop this back, so. So I did get, it's still stained. From the brown stuff um every time i wipe this like something brown will drip down and i've tried with the brush so many times clean it so then you got this part and i did get the inside clean but i don't know if you can see can y'all see that right there i don't know if y'all can see there's a brown mark i don't know if my yeah right where my thumb is it dripped from somewhere and I've been cleaning and it'll show back up and I've been cleaning and it shows back up. So I have cleaned this thing and cleaned this thing and cleaned this thing but I can't clean it no more. So it's just been dirty for that long. I just saw something brown. Oh, that's a piece of something. So I've cleaned and cleaned and cleaned and cleaned. So it is stained really, really bad. But there's nothing I can do about that. And then um, this part right here, I got it cleaned out. Um, the side, or if you can see the side or not. I'm peeping the camera to make sure you can see. Scratch, scratch, scratch. Can't get that off. This white stuff is from the residue from the knee cleaning it. Um, the back. Yeah, I remember what the back looked like. Um, I got a little bit of mark right there, mark right there. And, some marks right here see they come from the dripping so got that clean oh. this side that's a scratch I can't get off it's stained right here I just like this really stained and then back to the front oh. so it's dripping again I don't know stinging but stress me out okay and then so I got it really clean. I got the inside. I don't know if you guys can see. The inside is really, really clean. I do keep having to... I don't know where they be coming from. Like, I've tried to take these out, but every time it drips, something shows up. I've actually put water in this compartment. I ain't about to fight with that. So, oh, and then like this. So, like I said, I clean as best as I can. This is all I got. So, I'm about to wrap it with some generation, put it back together, and I'll be back. Hey guys, the results are in, and here is the final product. I think I did really good. I got it really clean, and I am so pleased with the outcome. This looks so much better and so clean.